So we're back on the road. It's only 8.40 in the morning and we're back on the road heading home and how lucky are we? Idris from the garage saved us and Trudy. In fact I say heading home but we're not heading home because we're in our home. I know I did think I'm that. I'm saying home because it's where Marianne's dad lives so we're heading home to his house. Yeah, that's the downside of van life when yeah. you get the flat tire you know but we did not lose our sense of humor lady on the tv you think they're gonna need that sense of humor no we did not <laughs> <laughs> i couldn't get my awning out though so i was on the high street
So good morning. We are off to get Trudy four new tyres. And because we're at home and we know where we're going, Christopher is doing the driving because he doesn't need to look at a map and direct me. Exactly. So yeah. I've been let free to drive my van. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we worked out that because the uh, because the tyres were old, or we think they may be old, we're just playing it safe and we're going to put um, new tyres on them because we're we've been going on mountain roads and things like that. Um, we didn't want to risk having old tyres, especially when the one blew out. That's quite dangerous. So. Um, yeah, so we're going down to Mike's to the garage today to get her some new tyres. Uh, we're going to get um, a sort of an all-weather tyre, but a, 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 you know, a, a better quality tyre, yeah. slightly more expensive as well. But we think it's a bit like shoes. If you haven't got comfortable shoes, then it's no fun walking around. So it's same for well, Trudis, I know, really. I know from riding a motorbike for years that you're only as good as the contacts you have with the with the road. So don't skimp on tires or take risks with tires because that's the only thing stopping you skidding off the road. Yeah. I've got new tires. Um, and if there's any tire companies out there who would like to sponsor us <laughs> tires to go around the world. <laughs> Absolutely. Because it's everything so expensive. <laughs> so Christopher... Now you get the camera. <laughs> yes. Why am I getting the camera? Because I forgot to put the handbrake on. And, and how, it was only a minor And how problem did we find out that the handbrake wasn't on? When we changed the tyres it moved. But it's flat. Yes. And you should always check that the handbrake's on before you try and Yes, because you had a go at me because I left... I didn't put the handbrake on. <laughs> we are on a cliff! <laughs> <laughs> when you're on a cliff and you feel the ham the car moving, it's a minor then you detail. Think, Hold on, is the handbrake on, love? We're about to die. <laughs> Whereas when I'm parked outside a garage on a flat surface, no it's drama. Not really a big no deal. drama. No drama. <laughs> <laughs> it's a minor detail that it was a cliff. Cut. <laughs> and Mike is just getting the tyres ready, um, sorting out the valves. Um, so Chris and I are using this time to plan the next bit of our trip we're going to go down and visit some family in uh, Somerset Chris's family's from Somerset and uh, then we're going to go round and uh, go down a bit further to Cornwall to visit some uh, Cornish family and also Cornwall's a beautiful part of the country so we thought we'd um, share some of the videos from Cornwall um, and then um, we're probably going to go to Hampshire to see my sister. What we were able to do in Ireland was stay in airs or in free parking along the Wild Atlantic Way viewing points. Um, so we've decided we're going to try and maintain that record because apart from the hospitality of Vic Bailey and her family, we didn't stay on um, a motorhome park or a caravan park so we're quite enjoying the fact because we're on a slim budget of about 23 pounds a day we find that um, if we can avoid paying any money for services or anything then that is a way of us saving money we have the solar panels which are awesome and we haven't needed electric but Chris is just going through, uh, we've got books, like I've got the one which is Brit Stops, which we got at the NEC, uh, which we've used once. I think we've only used it once. Um, and you need to pay, really. You do yeah, need to pay. You have to either pay or you have to eat something, which again eats into your budget when you're on a tight budget. Some of them are free, so I'm going to go back through um, and find some free ones if there are any actual free ones that don't involve you uh, purchasing something. Uh, Chris bought this book for us um, on the internet and he's just going through it. <laughs> Three new tyres, no three, four, three. four three. new 
Wait. We're in a Robin Reliant. <laughs> we <laughs> have four new tyres. Four new tyres on Trudy and fortunately the spare tyre that we put on is still a very good condition. In fact it was better condition that the tyres were on the actual um on actually on Trudy. Mm -hmm. 